Thank you for watching this video on investors in Ethiopia. Who they are, what they invest in, where they invest and how you can meet or contact them. You're in good hands. My team has substantial multi-decade experience in working with African investors. I've run an African stock exchange, an investment bank focused on Africa. My team runs AFSIC Investing in Africa, perhaps Africa's most important investment event. And I've personally invested in Ethiopia. There's a lot of information in this video, but if you really want to get maximum benefit from our experience, whether you're an investor yourself or you want to apply for investment in Ethiopia, make sure you subscribe to our email list or contact us so that we can send you further details on the next steps. All the links required are below this video if you're watching on YouTube or on our webpage if you're on one of our websites, dashboards or portals. Before we start, if you're looking to raise money from an, an investor in Ethiopia, I strongly recommend that you join our Africa business community today absolutely for free. Again, links are in the YouTube video description if you're watching on YouTube and on our webpage if you're on our website. Once you've joined our Africa business community, we'll promote you and your investment opportunity in Ethiopia free of charge. Okay, so let's get going and talk about Ethiopian investors. First, what type of investors are there that focus on Ethiopia? Well, actually, that's not a, there's not a simple answer as there are quite a number of ways in which you can segment Ethiopian investors, for instance, by the business sector in which they invest or where they're based. Clearly, a number of uh, investors in Ethiopia are based in Ethiopia, but a larger number of Ethiopian investors are actually based globally, perhaps in the US, Europe, Asia, or even elsewhere in Africa. And as mentioned before, we've built up a very extensive list of these investors. So don't forget to join our Africa business community today. However, we've got to get started looking at the Ethiopian investors somewhere. So let's start by looking at investors who make investment decisions to wholly uh, benefit themselves. Uh, this is versus professional investors who are paid to invest on behalf of third parties. In other words, they're investors investing on behalf of other investors. People who invest for their own benefit are often called private investors. They could be successful businessmen or women based inside or outside Ethiopia who invest directly into companies or shares in Ethiopia looking to make money specifically for themselves. The richest of these individuals who may have set up their own investment operations uh, are called family offices. Or they could be companies looking to grow in Ethiopia. For instance, a large renewable energy company in France may look to buy or invest into renewable energy companies in Ethiopia or elsewhere in Africa. The key here is that both the companies and the individuals in this case are looking for investments solely to benefit themselves. There are literally hundreds of thousands of these investors who may be interested in looking into investing in any business project or concept in Ethiopia. Most will be based outside of Ethiopia. What are the different characteristics between the corporates and the private investors? Well, in general, corporate investors make larger investment that investments than private investors. However, corporate investors are likely to be highly restricted to investing only into companies in the exact same or similar type of business. Private investors will, with only a small number of exceptions, invest smaller amounts than professional or corporate investors. But because they're investing on their own behalf, they've got much greater flexibility in what they can invest into than professional investors who have their hands tied due to their investment mandate. Private investors can put money into very early stage projects and they're known as angel or venture capital investors. And while there are a large number of these types of investors, the difficulty is often finding out who they are and what they're looking for. They could be based outside of Ethiopia. In fact, they're most likely to be based outside of Ethiopia and have a very small network within Ethiopia. As a result, they never get shown investment opportunities that could be of interest to them. To facilitate the flow of information on business and investment opportunities to these types of investors, our team runs a digital Africa business opportunities dashboard, which is designed to bring all sorts of investment opportunities to the forefront of private investors' attention. So look for the links below the video on YouTube or on our webpage if you're on one of our websites. So you can add yourself to our Africa business community today free if you want your Ethiopian project to be dis discovered by this type of investor. Okay, so we talked about the type of investors, including private investors, family offices and companies who are looking to invest into Africa on their own behalf. The other type of investor is a professional investor. Professional investors get paid to invest other people's money. 
This type of investor is generally regulated in their home country by the National Financial Services Authority and is often referred to as an institutional investor or fund manager. Fund managers uh, may be based in Ethiopia, elsewhere in Africa or even outside Africa. Each country in Africa has its own local institutional investors who generally prefer to invest in their own country, although in Ethiopia this is a relatively new uh, industry. Um, but some countries in Africa, such as Egypt, Morocco, Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa, have got very well developed local fund management industries. And this is an industry that's likely to develop in the coming decades um, in Ethiopia. But really, there are a large number of institutional investors focused on Ethiopia that are based outside of Ethiopia. They could be in the US, the UK, France, Germany and Switzerland. And they could range in size from very small to those managing billions of US dollars of investment. This type of investor is often severely restricted in what they can invest into, although a few, like hedge funds, could have an unrestricted ability to invest in what they fancy at any particular time. So in general, there's no point asking a fund manager who specialises investing into Ethiopian agriculture to look at investing into a new and exciting Ethiopian mining company, as however much they might like the investment merits of the mining company, they will probably simply not be allowed to invest into it as a result of their constitution or investment mandate. So as a result, you need to understand the investment mandates or parameters of these investors before you approach them. A common restriction for Ethiopian investors is based on sector. Some may be restricted to the tech or financial services sector, others to investments that are really specifically socially impact focused. There are also further restrictions on the type of investments that a fund manager may be able to make. Some are restricted to investing in shares listed on African stock exchanges, we're hoping that Ethiopia gets its own stock exchange in coming years. Others are the opposite and can only invest in companies that are not listed on a stock exchange, which is very relevant for Ethiopia. And those are known as private equity investors. Uh, others provide debt finance and some specialize in trade finance. Knowing what each investor focuses on is important in learning which investor might be of greatest assistance to you in raising funding. As a reminder, we've developed one of the largest networks of investors globally focused on Ethiopia and Africa. And if you subscribe to our mailers or become a member of our Africa business community today, we'll keep you updated on the various options that we offer for you to connect with these investors. Joining is free, so why not do it while you're watching this video? So we've discussed the difference between private and company investors investing on their own behalf and institutional investors who manage money for a fee from other investors. We've also talked about the fact that some investors focus on specific business sectors and others can only invest in certain type of investment instruments, for example, listed shares. Now it's time to discuss how to meet or connect with them. And that's another area where we can really assist you. We've got a number of digital platforms that are free for you to, for you to use where you can upload your investment idea and it can be reviewed by our large network of investors and parties interested in Africa. As mentioned before, these are free to use. So first, we suggest you follow links as to how to join our Africa business community free. Once you're a member, you'll be able to post your own business and investment opportunities on our Africa business opportunities dashboard. For those wanting to meet the Africa investors at a physical event, I highly recommend, uh, recommend attending our AFSIC Investing in Africa event, which is perhaps Africa's most important investment event and a great place to connect with investors focused on Africa. So on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for having watched this video to the end. Don't forget your next step is to become a member of our Africa business community. It's free. So why not do that right now? Thank you.